In this video, we will demonstrate how to program the VPT24 Decora 24-hour programmable timer switch. To begin, let's get familiar with the timer and the icons on the LCD display screen. Gently lift the door on the face of the device from the bottom of the push pad until you hear it click. The open door reveals the programming buttons, menu, set, and the up and down arrows. Centered beneath the programming buttons is the override button. Press this at any time to exit the programming mode. The backlit LCD display screen is visible at all times through the window in the door. It will light up when any button is pressed and remain lit for 30 seconds. Now let's take a closer look at the icons found on the display screen. It's important to be familiar with them as you begin the programming process. In the center of the screen inside the oval is the timer schedule at a glance with 12 p.m. at the top and 12 a.m. at the bottom. Each segment represents an hour and allows you to quickly see your timer's on-off settings for the day. The displayed segments represent the times your load will be on. The segment representing the current hour will be flashing. Within the timer schedule circle you will see the current time, A is for AM, and P is for PM. The days of the week that the timed events are scheduled to occur. The event number. Daylight saving time option. Longitude latitude degrees. And offset of astronomical clock, which will only be visible when programming sunup and sundown events. Now let's move to the top of the display to the override icons. Override status can appear in one of two ways. The first is a circle with a slash through it. This indicates permanent override is off and scheduling at a glance is not available. If the icon is flashing, it means the temporary override is off. The second way it can appear is as a circle with short lines stemming from the bottom half. This indicates permanent override is on and scheduling at a glance is not available. If the icon is flashing, it means the temporary override is on. On the lower left is the battery power indicator icon. This icon will only be displayed if there is a loss of power and the battery backup is on. Along the bottom of the screen is the programming menu. PRG indicates programming mode and is used when programming events. CLK indicates clock and is displayed when setting up the time. RND indicates random mode and is displayed when enabling the random setting. Sun indicates sunup, sundown, and is displayed when programming the sunup and sundown setting in pro mode. In the bottom right corner is a moon-shaped icon. This indicates nighttime. The upper right corner has a clock-like icon which appears when setting timed events, a trash can delete icon, and finally, a sun icon when shown alone represents daytime, with a line below represents sundown, and with a line above, sun up. Now that you're familiar with the programming icons, you're ready to begin. First, decide how you would like to program your timer, STD, which is standard mode, or pro mode. STD mode provides up to three on-off events for Monday through Sunday, Monday through Friday, or Saturday through Sunday at fixed times. For sunup, sundown, and daylight saving time events, please reference the Pro Mode instructions. Pro Mode provides up to 49 on-off events for any day or combination of days, Monday through Sunday, Monday through Friday, or Saturday through Sunday at desired fixed or self-adjusting times such as sunup and sundown. Daylight saving time and random modes can also be set. Note that the VPT24-16 California Title 24 compliant model does not have STD programming mode. You can exit programming at any time by pressing the override button.